Hello everyone, uh, Friday weekend again, um, late afternoon, so I'm looking a bit the worse for wear again, but there you go. Um, I don't like um, to come on and feel that I'm shortchanging people with videos when I'm, I've got something on my mind that needs doing and I'm not concentrating on what I'm saying. Um, hence why I'm, I'm taking so long to upload the couple of videos that I promised. But I will do them. And touching on the subject of depression. A lot of people, psychologists, psychiatrists, bring in the nature-nurture balance that some people are predisposed to depression, um, whether they're living as a king or as a pauper. If that predisposition is there, then they're going to be suffering. Other people say that, no, it's actually... Um, the surroundings, the nurture that somebody gets, the upbringing, the opportunities, the freedom to find out who they are and be who they want. It's a bit of both, isn't it? And Descartes, the um, Greek philosopher said that he believed the mind and the body are totally separate in that the soul resides in the mind and therefore is spiritual and that the body is um, a mechanical thing, you know, it's, you're the driver, your brain is the driver, but your body is the vehicle. And that's actually a, how I see it also. We have, um, round about there, we have the pineal gland, or what's known as the third eye. The third eye, um, it's shaped like a little acorn and it's between two glands there. Um, it produces serotonin derivative um, melatonin. And within the pineal gland, it said, lies the answer to all life's mysteries. If we could only open that third eye there, and it can be worked on. Um, There's many meditations that you can do to attempt to effect a connection with your pineal gland. Now depression, going back to that, it can be caused not only by predisposition not only by your personal circumstances but it can also be caused by a meaningless in its negative energy a meaningless but meaningful to you flow of something that is hammering away at you. 
it can be worry over what's happening with an individual um, and you're trying to get some control over that. It can be somebody who's harassing you, bullying you, stalking you. Um, what's the answer to that? I think the answer to everything is that it's necessary to be introspective, to look inward, to find that inner strength, and also to realise that what happens on this earth, here and now and tomorrow, whatever it is that happens, it's only a very, very, very small part of what you are, what we are, what the universe is. Every single one of us, every one of us, even the most, even Hitler, every one of us has within us, if you like, residing here, if you want somewhere to focus on, has residing in us that light that's part of the bigger picture. And I believe that when we pass, as I said to the lady I spoke to, who lost her husband. I believe that when we pass, it's the people who are left behind who grieve and weep. And yet their loved one really has just gone through that portal. They have left their broken down vehicle their body behind and the driver has left the cab. That's my belief. That, I think, should be a comfort to people who are feeling low, who are feeling down. Just remember, this passes Today passes, tomorrow passes. Everything is a learning curve. Even the bad things, you can find something to be thankful for in them because they teach you something about yourself. The way you handle yourself, the way you behave towards the agitators. The way you conduct yourself. So, I think I'll leave you with this thought tonight, today, this afternoon, five o'clock. I'll leave you with this thought. I'm going to put a link to um, a couple of meditation tapes, a couple of um, opening the third eye um, and meditation tapes for beginners which I think some of you might like and I'll post them in the description and my thought for today is or tonight is it would be wonderful if you just tried open your mind, open your heart and just try to find that third eye opening, that peace, 
that will surround you when you do and the confidence that you need and that you will have in yourself. Have a great evening and I know for some of you it's what, lunchtime probably but have a great evening and I'll be back over the weekend. Alfie's fine at the moment again. He um, he has lost weight. Um, I've had to take it up with the staff about persevering with helping him eat because he can't feed himself. Um, and it can take an hour to feed him a bowl of Weetabix. Um, and I think some of the carers try a couple of spoons and leave it. Um, I know I went in the other morning and he hadn't eaten. And he was as bright as a button though. So I got some Weetabix, he had that. He had two small tubs of ice cream. He had two chocolate biscuits. He had a cup of um, milkshake. He was hungry, he was starving. So I haven't been happy with the fact that they're not persevering with the feeding. Um, Alfie is having fortified milkshakes as well now. Um, and as I say, because I go every day, his weight is still at an acceptable level, although he has lost some, which is a worry to me. But uh, we're seeing the consultant on Tuesday and see how we go from there. As I say, have a great evening everybody and I'll be back over the weekend. Bless you all. Bye bye.